In this video, let's take kind of a broad look at what we call traverse drawing settings. I've got a subdivision that I imported from a land XML file, and you can see I've got these black dashed alignments uh, down the middle of the uh, right of ways, and I've got all these lots, about 83 of them or so here. So let's zoom in and kind of see what information uh, we got from this. I can see I've got stationing on the alignments, and for what I want to do here, I want to get rid of that. So let's come over to our Traverse Manager. I'm going to select the alignments traverses. So these got put into an alignment group when we imported the land XML file. Now I can right-click one of them, and this is the command I'm looking for, Traverse Drawing Settings. Let's left-click that, and you can see that this says these are the Traverse Drawing Settings for these six selected traverses the ones that are selected here in the Traverse Manager. And I'm going to come down to the uh, Points section, and I see that stations are checked. So let's uncheck stations and apply that. Do you see how they're gone? So in CAD, you would come in and actually add all these labels, you know, through list routines or through um, routines and whatever third-party CAD software you've got. In Traverse PC, I just say, what do I want to include? I include it or turn it off, and it's not included. Okay, so let's kind of continue that discussion and let's uh, go ahead and create some uh, information on these parcels here. So I'm going to select the parcels in the Traverse Manager, just, again, just by selecting the parcels group so I get all of them. I'll right click and choose Traverse Drawing Settings. And now I have the settings for 82 selected traverses. So there are 82 parcels in here. And let's just start taking a look at these. So here's a section that controls the lines and the line labels. If I came in and said I don't want any lines and then applied that, I wouldn't have any lines. So the Traverse drawing settings even created the lines for me. I see in the point section, I've got a point label and in the symbol section, a symbol. And that's how I got these symbols. So I'm going to say, OK, I don't want any symbol. Apply that. Now I just have point labels. <laughs> so let's go ahead and, and uh, reselect a line here down and choose a solid line. Let's come in and choose the symbol that uh, we actually used here because we set a rebar at each one of these. So let's find set rebar and let's apply that change now. And now we have solid circles at each corner to represent a set rebar. We have solid lines for each uh, lot line and we have our point labels labeled here. We, we control the Traverse Drawing Settings through these tabs up here at the top. And I want to drop you into this Lot Label tab here just for a moment. And I'm going to turn on the Name and the Square Feet and choose Apply. So by default, Traverse PC says, I'm going to use the Traverse name to label the lot. That's where we have Lot Number 22, because that's the Traverse name. But what if I came over here and said, just use the last word in the Traverse name and apply that? Now I would have just number 22, number 21, okay? Because there was a lot space, number one, number two. If I didn't want this uh, number sign, I could use a search and replace in those traverse names and get rid of it. And then I would just have lot one as the traverse name. And I could just use one as the lot name, two as the lot name, etc. cetera. Uh, if I want to show acres instead of square feet, I just choose acres instead of square feet and apply that. If I'm going to be hatching some of these lots or putting in a fill and I want to clear the background around the text, I can clear that here and apply, and that shows up. So I'm going to set as many properties for these labels as I can in the Traverse Drawing Settings. And then if I need to, I'm going to say, OK, uh, I want this label to be moved over a little bit so I can move it where I want. Or I want some of these to be uh, bold, for instance. So I'm going to go to Properties, and I'm going to say, I want that to be uh, a stronger, okay, a bold on just that one, or the size, or whatever. So the way that the Quick View technology works is that I'm going to set as many of the properties and create as many of these, what CAD people would call entities, and Traverse PC calls objects. Uh, I'm going to create as much of that as I can from the Traverse Drawing Settings because I can do that for a whole bunch of lots all at once or a whole bunch of alignments all at once. And then I'm going to come in and just modify the ones that are different. Okay? And at any time, I can come in and say, I want to reset this back to whatever those Traverse Drawing settings were. 
in Travers BC will wipe out any changes I made to it and simply put it back the way it, it was before. Now I moved that one so I had to put it back in the center. I'm going to do the same with this. Reset modified objects and move it back. Another neat thing about the labels is that they're, they're not given a fixed position. They're given a relative position to the center of the lot. So if I do anything to change the position of this lot, or the size of this lot, or the shape of this lot, Traverse BC will reorient this label to the center of that lot plus that offset. So it's a great way to, to you know, as I as I move things around, these lot labels tend to kind of look like they're traveling with the with the lot or moving with that parcel, and that's exactly what we want them to do. That's how they're associated. Okay, let's drop back in and take a little look at some line work here. So here's our Traverse drawing settings. Again, for these 82 lots. Let's come in and tell Traverse BC, I don't want to label curves right now, but I do want to label some of the lines, uh, just with distance, and let's apply that. So Traverse BC comes in and puts up all the uh, distances on the line labels. And I can say, you know what, that's bigger than I want. Um, I want that to be eight hundredths of an inch. So I just made those smaller. I'm going to choose Apply, and now they're all smaller. And in Traverse BC, regardless of what scale I plot this at, these labels will always be 800 of an inch. This kind of a neat thing. Now, if we look in here at the cursor, do you see that this 3951 uh, gets drawn up and offset here a little bit? And I see I've got a, a distance across the street that's also 3951. So it gets drawn off to the side because it can't quite fit. That's controlled by this style. Let's change the style from auto to aligned, and we're going to force those to be aligned to their line segments. Okay, if a, if I let the auto style draw them off to the side because they don't fit, they're also available to be put into a table. Uh, and Traverse PC can say, I'm going to put that uh, line label into a line table and put L1 or L2 here instead. So you've got some great control over how Traverse PC uh, draws those labels for you. Uh, let's take a look at another tab here now. Let's take a look at the Setbacks tab. And I'm going to come in and tell Traverse PC, instead of none, I want to use like a phantom line, maybe like this phantom 2 here. And let's go ahead and apply that. So now I have my Setbacks in here. And Traverse PC takes care of things like, do you see how we've uh, cleared the background behind this line label so that the Setback line doesn't draw through it? There are a couple of ways to do that, either globally for the whole drawing or just for these traverses. And now I'm on my way to having a drawing ready to go without having to do anything other than tell Traverse BC what I want to draw via these Traverse drawing settings. And there are additional settings for side shots, for fills, for location labels. Okay, we didn't hardly get into the curves and spirals at all, but now I can come in and, and the label the curves in here as well. And all this is done through the Traverse drawing settings without me ever having to think about uh, using CAD commands to um, add lines, add labels, snap to anything. Um, and all this is associated with the survey data. So if I make any changes in the survey, everything created by the Traverse drawing settings is associated, so it will update automatically.